All right, so my son just turned 22 months a couple days ago at the time of recording this video, and I'm very excited to introduce him to the toys from the companion here for the 22, 23, and 24 months. I'll be unboxing it, and then I'm gonna go to Amazon and try to find some alternatives to recreate this box to see if it's worth the $120 we pay for it. All right, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. It's a pretty big box, so hopefully I can get everything inside the camera angle. Let's do a little bit. All right, now that I have the camera set up properly, now you can see everything. So this is the companion, 22, 23, and 24 months. So these are the items that are included in this set. And this is once again a suggested play path of when you should introduce each item to your child. Um, it's not something you set in stone because every child is different, but this is generally very helpful. Okay, so this is pretty much the most important thing in here besides the toys. Well, could be more important depending on how you look at it because this is all the research that Love Every's done and it tells you why you should play with or introduce these toys in a certain way to your child so you can get the most benefits from them. Okay. All right, the first item here is called the wooden post stand. So it looks like it's just a regular stand for posting different woods. Um, there are different size holes. Um, looks like there are two main different sizes, a small and a larger hole. Um, let's go ahead and see the pegs. Okay, yep. So it comes with eight of the smaller pegs. You can just put them in here. And I assume same thing with the larger pegs. It beats seven of the larger pegs and it's pretty much the same thing for them to do some posting activities. All right, so here we have the book Graham Turns 2, which seems to be a pretty good book because your child will be turning two by the end of this um, 24 months. So this looks like it'll be a good read. My son always loves their books. This, okay, so this is yeah, so this is their care card. It teaches you how to care for everything in here. Um, I did notice that on some of the newer boxes or revamp boxes, they've started adding the care into the actual play guide, which is nice because you don't have to worry about losing this piece and forgetting how to take care of it. Although most stuff is pretty simple. Um, it's mostly wiping it. You can't really wash too many of these items. All right, next is Montessori Animal Match. At least that's what I think's in here, yes. This is gonna definitely be one of my son's favorites because we actually already have animals that we've had for him already to introduce and matching. Um, but these are also really nice too. If you can see these are, um, it's made of little wood and these are pretty decent quality plastic it looks. Yep. And there are about six animals in here. And the drawstring bag is also part of it, but um, I think this is just a nice place for you to carry it so you don't lose all the pieces. And next item here is the buckle barrel. So it looks like, um, I assume, since kids like to play with buckles, it's just for them to practice buckling and unbuckling things. I know some kids are really into this. I'm not sure my son is into this yet, but we'll see. I'll introduce it to him in a bit. Or later, not in a bit. Next is a transfer tweezers and star felt basket. Now this looks like something my son would love because we actually did something similar with felt balls. Um, we have, we're using one of the old containers from Love Every and we had metal tweezers. Um, I forgot where my wife got it from, but we did similar thing and he likes doing it. Although I think this is easier to squeeze. So this might be easier to hold than balls. Okay, next is the mosaic button board. Okay, let's see how this works. Um, let's go to this camera over here. So it looks kind of like, all right, so let's see how to figure it out real quick. So yeah, it has these grooves here on the edge for you to slide the board in, I assume. So you would slide the board in. Definitely have to do more reading on this to figure out how to play with it properly. But it looks like that's the general idea of it. Um, I, oh, wrong way. Okay, there we go. So it's this way so that it's slanted where the buttons are in the front. So I think you can just snap them in. And I guess you can follow the different guides so your child can learn. At least that's what I'm assuming right now. Um, I haven't read anything yet, so I'm not 100% sure how to play it, but that seems like the idea. Looks like something very fun. Um, it's also very easy to pull in and out. 
So yeah, we'll see how my son likes this. Looks like something that could take a lot of um, time for him to master. All right, and the last item in here are this chunky wooden jigsaw puzzle. It's basically just four huge pieces of wood. And what's good about it looks like that it doesn't, there's no specific ends, they all just fit. So what I mean by that is I can replace this green one here with this uh, pink one here and it'll be fine. It's actually more like a purple than pink. All right, so that's all the items inside the companion box. Now it's time for me to go on Amazon to see if I can find alternatives to see if this box is worth the $120 we paid for it. And also, um, I will not be doing the review of this yet because I usually like my son play with all the items first. And since there's so many items, it's going to take him a little while to play with them as you don't want to introduce all the toys at once. You want to kind of toy rotation them in. So that's what I will be doing. And I'll see you in a bit. As usual, this is the part where I try to recreate my own version of the Love Every Kit from finding things that are similar on Amazon to see if the kits are worth the price. And since the Companion was one of those boxes that had major changes, I'll also go ahead and show you what these changes are. I couldn't find anything that was exactly like the wooden posting stand, but this Melissa and Doug pound a peg toy is similar in that you can still use the pegs and post into the stand. Although the pegs won't go in as easily as there's these rubber parts that's meant for you to use the hammer to pound in. The Montessori animal match comes with six animals, six matching wooden pictures, and a drawstring bag to put everything in. I was able to find these that are fairly similar and comes with 12 figurines and matching laminated cards. Another alternative would have been making your own set by buying individual animals from companies like Schleich and printing your own pictures for matching. Keep in mind that this a la carte option isn't cheaper either as each animal costs $5.99 or more. So if you try to make a set of six, it'll cost you at least $35.94. The next item, the buckle barrel, is a toy for your child to practice opening and closing different buckles. The alternative I found definitely doesn't look as nice as the Love Everyone, but teaches the overall same concept. The transfer tweezers, felt stars, and felt baskets work on your child's fine motor skills to transfer the stars in and out of the basket. As an alternative, although this is probably more difficult due to it being plastic, is a set of counting bears covering the same concept. But I'm not quite sure on the size of the bears, so make sure to keep an eye on your child when they're using this, especially if your child likes to put things in their mouth. The mosaic button board is a bit unique in that it can be placed vertically. I couldn't find anything that could do that, but I did find this button board that goes for $15.99. Button board helps both fine motor skills and hand strength. As a common theme with most Love Every Toys, the chunky wooden jigsaw puzzle is a bit unique in that each of the four pieces are exact same shape and doesn't have any images on the puzzle pieces. That means that it's a bit easier versus traditional puzzles as your child can focus on the spatial awareness versus trying to match up pictures. I couldn't find anything exactly like it, so I chose this set of puzzles as an alternative because it's not as complicated compared to some of the other jigsaws out there and it's also made of wood. Well, you might think that the main point of Graham Turns 2 is, well, like the title says, a kid turning two years old. But it's actually about processing and managing emotions. This book on Amazon is about feelings, and I picked it over many of the other options because it uses images of real people. And those are all the items that are in the current companion play kit. If you add up all the items I just mentioned, it brings us up to $129.85, which is slightly more expensive than purchasing the Love Every Play Kits. Although the companion play kit's value isn't quite as high as some of the other ones we've seen in the past, I would say that the box in its current form is still well worth it. The Amazon alternatives I found doesn't quite cover the exact same concepts or cover them quite as well as the Love Every toys. And Love Every also includes this nice play guide that's jam-packed full of information for it to help your child learn how to play with these toys. Additionally, I think the quality of the Love Every Toys are much better than any alternatives you can find on Amazon. However, with that being said, I know that many of you are still curious if the changes made to the companion are for better or for worse. Let's take a look at the changes. On the left, you'll see what's the current iteration of everything included. And on the right, you'll see what was in the original box. Taking a look at these pictures, you can tell that quite a bit was removed without much being added. They removed the Quindol, the large stacking drip top cups, the storage box and stickers, the two-part puzzle and box, and Bia gets a checkup board book. In total, five items were removed. They replaced those items with the wooden posting stand and added one felt star and a felt basket. Yup, really, they only added one new item and gave us a little bit of extras on another activity. Without even having to find alternatives on Amazon, I can tell you that the value of the old box is definitely higher as there are just more items. It's a bit disappointing to see whenever these boxes get changed and more items are removed than new items added back in. 
While I do like that Love Every is constantly doing research and trying to improve their boxes, I wish that they at least try to keep the number of items that they remove the same as the ones they add back in. There would definitely be a lot less of an uproar if they did that. With all that said, I haven't had a chance to fully review this box yet and see how my son interacts with each of the items. So there could be a chance that the wooden posting stand is just that good of an item that it can replace pretty much five items that was taken out of the box. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my review video where I give you my thoughts on the items as well as if any of the older items are worth buying from the subscriber shop. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.